Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have back with us Joshua Sherrard, who's the President and CEO of Strategic Navigators. Joshua, welcome back to the program. Thanks so much, Mike. Glad to be here. Hey, I'm excited to talk with you about this really unique topic because I love little buzzwords and things that make you go, ooh, that sounds interesting. So today we want to talk about the rich man Roth. So tell us what that is and kind of where that came from as far as why I call a Roth a rich man Roth. And, and so give us a little bit of background on that. Well, like, you know, I call myself a tax strategist and I work in concert with tax attorneys and we have scoured through what the tax code it has available to you. And the reality is that the Roth IRA is one of the only vehicles that the general population is aware of where you can put money into it after tax and then it never is taxed again. Hmm. Well, we have taken a unique approach to that code section 7702 in the IRS code says that if a vehicle is inside of insurance, then what's going to happen is that you have the ability to access that money tax free. And so we build on a basically a life insurance chassis, a vehicle that we call the rich man Roth. And what that does is it allows you to put money in after tax and never see that money taxed again. If you do everything correctly, you will actually leave it to your heirs and they too will not pay income tax on that money. And so it can be a very powerful vehicle. It is not something that I invented. I have simply modified it significantly. Uh, matter of fact, you can go all the way back to Walt Disney who uh, built Disneyland in California. He used one of these and huh. uh, or a version of it. And he was able to put a significant amount of money into it out of the profit of, of Disneyland in, in California. And then he went over to Florida where he built Disney World. And he used this money inside this vehicle to be able to buy the outlots around Disney World or the property there and, and made a small fortune on that as well. So people have been using this for a long time. It is something that has been very effective in growing your wealth uh, and getting rid of taxes um, our team has been able to get rid of fees internally as well, and we've been able to get rid of volatility because we use an index internally, and we're able to maximize the returns with no downside. You know, I love when when people go, oh, hey, here's something that uh, you normally think of doing things this way, but hey, here's a new way to think about it, but it's not a new way. Like you mentioned Walt Disney, but also, aren't I correct in thinking this too? And if I'm off base, please correct me. Um, putting um, some assets inside of this type of vehicle, uh, permanent life insurance, is not a new topic. In fact, many banks and large institutions and corporations put their funds in this type of vehicle. So it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. In fact, when we put our money in a bank and we get our 0. .00 whatever percent in for the savings account, they're taking some of that money and putting that into something like this. So it's a very uh, uh, established and well-respected proven vehicle, right? It, it really is. And and the world of insurance, again, going back to the tax code, over 80,000 pages, there's a big chunk that is uh, designated for life insurance. And, mm. you know, I think of one of my clients who uh, I worked with a team of attorneys on, he had a $20 million stock. Uh, and basically, that was kicking off about 10% a year, doing really well, but he was paying income tax on that $2 million a year. Well, we took that $20 million stock and we put it in a life insurance wrapper. And what that did is it made the $2 million that he got every year now tax-free. Wow. And so it's, it's dynamics like that that people, they're just not aware that they even exist. And yeah. I like to use the term tax shelter. And and my attorneys, they're, they're okay with me using that because it's a legal, legitimate, moral, ethical term with regards to the rich man Roth because it really is a tax shelter protecting you from future taxation. And, and I love how you uh, paint that word picture of rich man Roth because we are familiar with the concept of a Roth IRA, but there's limitations, right? So talk about where, where the line starts hitting, where why would this be called, your, your methodology be called the rich man Roth? Well, because at a certain point, 
certain income levels and certain contribution levels, you can't use a, a Roth anymore. So you've got to use something like this. Yeah. And, you know, the Roth IRA is a great vehicle, but it is very limited. You know, in some cases, it can be as low as $6,000 per person per year. And and that just really, you know, for the p- folks that I work with, that's not the kind of money that's going to get you to a point where you have tax-free income in the future. And so what we do is we build this. It does uh, heavily depend upon your income. It depends on your overall net worth. But one of the strategies that I use, and we talked about this in the last episode, and I I go in and I work with business owners and I reduce their income tax. And sometimes I'll save people, you know, two, three, four, even $500,000 on taxes. And we'll take that what I call found money, and then we'll redeploy it into the rich man Roth, and they will never pay tax on that money ever. Uh, in the strategies that we use. And so it can radically change their whole paradigm. It catches them up on retirement. It gets them to the point where they don't have to sell their business if they don't want to, because we created an internal tax-free pension for them. So in what you just described there, you're finding this found money of X number of dollars, nice oh, large nice chunk large of money. Chunk of money. And then at that point, you're de- redeploying that into this vehicle, which then that money grows tax-free because of the sh- the the shell, the uh, vehicle that it's in, the permanent life insurance. So there's like a double benefit right there, right? So, I mean, now all of a sudden that money's in there, but it's not just sitting there dormant. Um, does it grow? Does it Can it increase in value? How does that work? Yeah, so what we do is we use an index that is pretty powerful. It's averaging about 9% over the last 15 to 20 years, and uh, it's tied to the S&P 500. But because it's indexed, you're not going to experience any of the losses. So think about a savings account that is going to be free from taxes on all of its growth. You're going to average about 9% historically. And then you know, we even take that further and we're using a system of banking laws to eliminate or significantly reduce the taxes. Uh, I'm sorry, the fees inside of that vehicle as well. You know, fees can be a huge enemy of your wealth. You know, when you go to your normal houses, you know, Edward Jones, Morgan Stanley, I could name all the famous names. And, you know, the average is going to be, hey, we're going to charge you 1% to manage your money. And that can be a big number over time. And so to address that and to significantly eliminate that. Now, here's another dynamic, Mike, that I want to bring up is the large majority of the funds that go into this are liquid. And not only are they liquid, but while you're borrowing that money and you can go in and you can borrow it out and you can go flip a house or go into some other investment short term. And while you're doing that, the account is still earning interest on the full sum. It's it's mind-boggling the way that it works. Uh, so like but if you took money out of your savings account, because that, that's liquid, your your mm-hmm. actual savings account at the bank, well, then that interest stops getting accruing on the money that you now have in your back pocket to do whatever you did with it. But you're saying in this vehicle, you can access the money and the interest, the compound, the dividends, whatever, the growth vehicle is still happening because it's it's still kind of like um, you're getting the benefit of the liquidity and without having the loss of the growth. Exactly. It's, wow. uh, it, it's a multitasking opportunity. And for, for particularly for business owners who are, you know, usually taking out some sort of, uh, you know, credit line or something like that, just to have the cash to make sure that you can do things. It's nice to know that you can use your own money in multiple ways. And so it, it's a powerful tool that way. And and one thing that jumps out at me, we're seeing all of these things like, okay, hold up, tax favor, tax benefit, and shelter, and all of these things, and growth, and, and liquidity. To me, that liquidity is a really big piece that people need to realize because let's just say you have a house worth $700,000 and it's free and clear. Well, that's that's a nice chunk on your net worth, but if you needed 250000 of that, it's locked up. So you better have a way to reaccess that, maybe put a line of credit on your house. Same with your retirement accounts we're talking here. You might have a nice line item of a big number, but if you can't easily quickly access it and then like what you're saying, have it still being accruing interest based on the the principal amount there, that's pretty huge. And and it, all of that makes me think this. This is this vehicle you're talking about is a 
a special type of permanent life insurance. It's a lot of people think of the word life insurance as, oh, when I die, I get this or my family gets this. Now we're shifting some of that death benefit into, yeah, yeah, there's a death benefit. Of course, it has to because there's insurance involved, but there's a lot of living benefits as well, right? Like what we're talking about. And matter of fact, the death benefit, in my opinion, is just icing on the cake. Yeah, it's Um, like, yeah, okay, that's nice. (laughs) Well, well, that's good. But really what we're doing is we're building a a wealth picture that is, like I say, on on the right side of the, uh, the tax line. And, uh, and be able to access it and be able to use it to grow your, your business, your enterprise, everything else. One of the other dynamics about this money, and I'll tell a really quick story here. I had an entrepreneur client of mine, very large business, and he was turning 60. And um, he held a birthday party for himself and with all of his employees. And one of the guys had a, you know, had a drink, didn't get drunk, had a drink, but he accidentally ran a red light. And he ended up, ended up killing someone, Mike. And it was a terrible, tragic situation. But the family of the deceased, they, you know, the way lawyers work, they traced that back and they sued my client, who was the entrepreneur that threw the party Mm -hmm. because he had the deep pockets. And, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs, they think the safest place for their money is in their business, in the business checking account or savings account or whatever it is. That's the actually the riskiest place for your your money. And so uh, if it was inside the rich man Roth, it would not be susceptible to that lawsuit or any lawsuit for that matter. Matter of fact, money inside a rich man Roth is even uh, not even considered in a divorce uh, because wow. it is tied to your life. And so there's a significant protection around that money, which is important to those that are in the entrepreneurial space. That's a really big uh, point. And without getting into how the legal lawsuit of the world happened, I would only suspect that someone would go, okay, we'll disclose uh, you know, the liquidity in your business. And then they're looking for checking and savings and whatever. Well, now we can hit that with this certain lawsuit. But what you're saying is if that money was redeployed into this type of vehicle, now it's not even Eight, you know, you don't even need to disclose it because it's a life insurance policy. It's not an asset. But yet, through what you're mentioning here, it acts as an asset when you can access it the way that you're mentioning. So it gives you all kinds of benefits, protection, as well as that, you know, liquidity. Yeah, I like to call the rich man Roth the Swiss army knife of investments. And and I encourage my clients, you know, there's there's all, I have other things too. I'm in the stock market. I'm in private equity and real estate. But really, the rich man Roth is my anchor. And that's the anchor investment. And, you know, kind of keeping with the nautical theme of strategic navigators, we call it the anchor that everyone needs to have on their boat. Otherwise, you're in trouble when you're out to sea. And so we really feel like this is what's going to help you to be successful long term. And uh, matter of fact, when my clients are in the rich man Roth for a few years, they come back to me and they say, Josh, how do I get more in there? And uh, we, we maximize it. It's that good of a vehicle. Well, and I'm always one to think, okay, I want that risk tolerance. Uh, I want that volatility. So we've talked about liquidity because if I take a chunk of money and I put it in something that now I can't reaccess it, now I don't have many options available to me. So talk a little bit about that volatility because you touched on something briefly about, well, what if the market crashes or what if the, in this vehicle – are there a, a bit, are, are there uh, provisions where it's like, hey, your principal's never going to have a loss because of how we've structured it, and that's another big protection. It's a huge protection, and and you know if you remember back to the two thousand seven two thousand eight crash, um, a lot of people lost their shirt in the market, and uh, basically anyone inside the rich man Roth is not going to lose to market volatility, and. The way that that works is we're using an index. And if you were to go to your traditional broker and say, hey, give me an index, there's a large cost associated with that. But the beauty of the rich man Roth is it's all built in internally and it's absorbed because of the nature of the companies and how we're doing this associated with life insurance. And so you're getting that significant uh, perk of the index, which again prevents you from ever going below zero. I like to say it, it works like a ratchet. You only get torque one way. Um, and, and you get all the upside with none of the downside. Well, also, it makes me think of this. And, and so, you know, where's the catch? So if there's zero downside, then 
you know, I hear my buddy that got a, you know, 28% return on his portfolio. Maybe there's a limit on the upside because the way that this, and, and I'm asking you this, is, is there a limit on the upside a little bit um, because there is the protection of no downside? So maybe it's like, okay, well, y you can get up to whatever the percent is. Maybe it's not these astronomical ones, but because you heard your buddy that got some huge number, he also has the huge volatility that it could just crash. And so is there some limits on the upside there? Well, you know, some of the vehicles and all the vehicles that I use are a little different, but I can just, uh, I'll address one of them. It, it's getting 90% participation in the S&P 500 with no downside and, and no cap which means if your buddy's getting 28%, you may end up with 27 or 26%, um, but your buddy's paying tax on that money yeah. and your buddy could lose that money. Right. And your buddy's paying Ooh. fees on that money. So, <laughs> right, you <know>. right. <laughs> so you would think that in using the hypothetical number of 28, right, we're not saying you will right. get this percent, but that hypothetical example, if he's getting 28 and he could lose 28, so that's a 56% swing, you know, in that example. But also yep. you would think, okay, well, because you don't have any chance of a downside, your, your max you can get is 14, and you might still be thrilled with that, but you're saying the spread, the arbitrage there is not that big of a hit. But then when you talk about no tax and lower, in fact, uh, much lower fees, all of that compounds into going, wow, this vehicle might need a second look at please tell me more kind of a thing. Exactly. And, and again, there have been a lot of books that have been written about these things. A lot of wealthy families uh, utilize these things and these mechanisms um, and, and the reality is there's a reason they do that, right? It, it, it's there in the code. It's there available to the population, but a lot of people don't access it because they don't have the right professional team around them to be able to find those resources. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we can probably get into the weeds and spend another four and a half more hours on, ooh, here's another. But why don't we stop here and say if something in this conversation is making you interested to learn a little bit more. Um, what's the best way that someone can reach out, connect with you and your team and learn a little bit more about the rich man Roth? Yeah. You know, I'd always direct people to our website, stratnavinc.com. And uh, through the website, you can send us an email or you can even call my office. I love to meet people in person or at least do a phone call or zoom call and, and see how we can be of assistance to, uh, especially entrepreneurs. But, you know, this isn't limited on entrepreneurs. I'll just add this one last thing. I've built the RMR for 12-year-olds and for three-year-olds. Mm -hmm. And uh, by putting in little amounts of money every year, you know, basically setting them up. I mean, we're talking six-figure returns when those pe when those uh, those people go to retire and, and having cash along the way. You could – there are very few things you can do to bless your, your young children uh, than setting them up with something like this. So it works for everyone. But, yes, we're glad to help anyone who would give us a call, and, and we can help guide them through it. Excellent. Well, Josh, thank you so much for coming back on. This has been a really uh, wonderful conversation. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Mike. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.